I'm so rich in yeah, I'm so rich in cancer. I'm so rich in yeah, I'm so rich in cancer. I'm so rich in yeah, I'm too sexy for the ooh, me too sexy for the shirt. Yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your favorite Shaboyne Boyne. It's been a minute, but let's hop straight into today's video. Today we're talking about. Um, I've seen this on TikTok a lot, but there's people who say, oh, you only have to affirm once and you'll get it. You feel me? Because I've seen this as a, um, a question on my TikTok too. They was like, so is it repetition or do I just affirm once? So let me explain that. So let's hop straight into this. When people say they only affirm once and they got it, I'm almost guaranteeing you 10 times out of 10 is something they had little to no resistance to. Because this kind of coincides with the whole Oh, manifestation only works when you let it go. You feel me? Because um, the whole let it go thing, most people, when they say, oh, I only get my manifestations when I let it go, A, that's because it's a rule you're setting for yourself. And then B, uh, most people, when they let it go, they stop wavering or they stop thinking against what they want. You feel me? Um, and that's a lot easier for people who no longer have resistance to something or they never really had resistance to begin with. So they're like, oh, I just let it go and gave it to the universe, right? That's usually what happens when somebody says, I only affirm once and it happened. Um, so that's the case. Like if you have a great experience with something like, or you've had um, great assumptions about a certain or particular area of your life, you'll be able to say it once and it'll happen. You feel me? Um, and the reason why I say it'll take repetition for things you don't, I mean, you do have resistance to, let me fix myself here. Things that you do have resistance to, is because if you just say it once for everything, A, I feel like if everybody's reality would be chaotic as fuck, because could you imagine if every single thing that you said once manifested, especially for a lot of y'all who like to say a bunch of fuck shit, and for people like me who like to bullshit from time to time, yeah, I would not want that. I don't want me to say something one time and then it manifests. Because um, I had a funny story where like, I kept saying you're sick over and over again because of somebody's food choices. I was like, you're sick. Sick. I kept saying it, and a day later, I kid you not, I got sick. Kid you not. So it'd be things like that where I'm like, bro, I don't want, you know, me saying something one time and it manifests. You feel me? For certain things, I like repetition. You feel me? That way, I'm making sure that's what I want and what I want to experience. So the things you have more resistance to, the reason it takes repetition is because you already have an opposing story, aka resistance, to the thing that you're manifesting. Um, Wait, can you turn that down? Hola. Hola. Can you turn that down? <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, one second. I ain't gonna cut this either. Fuck. Y'all know I'm gonna clip it because I don't, I, I don't know if y'all were able to hear me or not. Um, and I don't want to take that risk of filming this whole thing and then it'd be like, ah, we couldn't hear you, Tom. Well, bitch, you can hear me now. Um, can you hear me now? What's that, what's buddy name? Jared from Verizon or whatever the fuck. Anyways, the things that you have more resistance to takes a repetition because you have an opposing story or um, AKA resistance. So when you have resistance to something, the only way you're gonna get rid of resistance is, is through the repetition of a new story. And a lot of y'all, the main reason y'all like, oh, I have so much resistance and nothing's working. It's like nine times out of 10, you're not repeating enough. And then another thing you can tell yourself, and even when you do when you do this, you're going to have to do it repetitively. is telling yourself, I have no resistance to this thing. You feel me? I have no negative thoughts about this thing. I have no opposing thoughts about this thing. Or some people like to say, I never waver or um, I always have a good mental diet. Either, irregardless, whichever one of those statements you pick, you're going to have to repeat it. I don't know why so many people are so against repetition and then people are almost like they're kind of fucking y'all over when they tell you oh i affirm for this thing once or you only have to affirm once and it'll happen yes that can happen if a you set the rules for it and b even if you don't set the rules for it again you have favorable assumptions in that aspect because if that was true i, I said this in my tiktok video i also said if that was true if everything was just i say it once and it happens a it would be chaotic B, a lot more people will have what they want. C, we really wouldn't, there wouldn't be no need for people like me, Sammy Ingram, what's shorty name on TikTok, Oculus, all these other people, Free T, whoever you wanna, whoever y'all watch. Um, there would be no need for us to teach y'all. 
point blank period. So yeah, that's the difference between the people who say, oh, I affirmed once and it happened, or I affirmed once and I let it go versus things you need repetition for. Because it, it fucks up a lot of people when they're like, oh, I said it once, but it didn't work. Or you also got to think of the people who are brand new to manifestation and they're like, well, Tone, I said it once, uh, like this one coach said, hey, stop telling me what y'all did from what another person said. Because if I ain't say it, don't come to me and be like, Tone, I did what this other person said and it didn't work. Bitches, God damn it, I ain't say it, so don't bring that shit to me. If it's something I said and you like it ain't work, I can help you tweak it. But if it's something somebody else said, you need to go talk to them. No bullshit. Um, but yeah, that'd be the main difference. So uh, I forgot where the fuck I was going with this. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this shit up because it's been a minute since I made a YouTube video. And um, if you're new here, I would say I'm sorry about all my uh, expletive language, but I'm not. This is just how I talk. So if you don't like it, you know I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I know y'all found this video helpful. Um, this is my TikTok outro. And as always, happy manifesting, gang. But my YouTube outro. And as always, keep it funky, nigga.